Welcome back. Summer is a great time to entertain and today Rania Harris is here to share some great recipes for a summer cocktail party, but we have to start first with the table setting. It's so important to kind of set the scene it and this is, is gorgeous what you've done is. here. We call it a tablescape. A tablescape. A tablescape I like that. Right? Like that. Look at that. I mean, how can you go wrong with something like this? It really pops. It's special. Mm -hmm. And it starts off with what I like to call the anchor, which is the linen. Right. And that's a multi sequent multi-colored sequent linen from Lendable Linens right here Love in uh, Monroeville. And Ed Amore brought this here, and that sort of set the stage mm -hmm. for Carmel Vandell's flowers from Mount Lebanon Floral. This is right. just, well, I mean, show-stopping. Uh, it is gorgeous. Unbelievable. And the way it's whimsical, it's beautiful, it yeah. just it says a lot of things. You've got the giant allium in there. That's this purple flower right up here. Look how high. It, it's so I beautiful because it's so tall. You have to well, reach so high. You know why? Why? So that you can see <laughs> over each other. I love that. Yes, very right? important. And and the hydrangeas. This is the perfect time of year for hydrangeas. But this clear vase allows you to see through and talk to the people sitting at your table, which is critical. So then, what you have to do is you have to do a little bit of lighting, and creativity always helps. Look at that. These are gorgeous, and we were just talking about this, how simple it is, yeah. and yet there's uh, little rocks. stones in here, little, little rocks, rocks, but they're clear. They're clear, and this is a little, like a lotus flower. Mm -hmm. And these are those battery-operated lights. Yeah, you can just see it in there. Nice, nice. And I like what you've done is carry this over, even though you don't have the sequence on the food table, That's you've right. carried over some of the accents That's onto that right. table. That's right. But now let's talk about these great chairs. Oh my gosh. I, they're and comfortable. This was the first thing other than the sequence that I noticed. Right. They it's are from gorgeous. the Marbella line. It's the sister company to All Occasions and 84 PA. All Occasions Party Rentals is my go-to place. And Julie Reiner brought these great chairs, but they're so cushiony. They and, are. And they're very comfortable. And obviously, they're high because our table is 42 inches high. It's what we call a belly so that you can stand, You can stand or you can or sit. Or you can sit. Got it. So we wanted to really accent this without making it look like a Pittsburgh Steeler table. <laughs> these are With called gold, black and gold. Right. right. I get these it. These are yeah. called noir. <laughs> noir. And these glasses are, I, I think, Ariana. Beautiful. The black glass. But well, we had to laugh at this. Go ahead. So we got to show everybody at home. So when I was looking at the table setting, we saw these <laughs> forks. If we can show these forks. Look how long this is. And I said, what? You said, ask? Yeah, yes. Yeah, Why it's so long? Why is this so long? And I said, let me guess. So I can reach across that's the table. Exactly and right. Take a bite that's exactly right. That here. is exactly a dragonfly fork, and that's exactly what it's meant to do: <laughs> to reach over when no one's looking and eat somebody else's food, <laughs> which I is love. what I do all the time. I eat off my husband's plate all day why, long. And why yeah. shouldn't you? Of course, right? It's food is meant to that's share. That's right. <laughs> so now you mentioned that this is glitzy and beautiful and beautiful. bright, but mm -hmm. this isn't, and there's a reason. And the reason is that food should be presented on a blank canvas that doesn't compete with the food. Okay. Very simple. And this is another great idea that you can do yourself. These are place card holders, and they don't have to be How anything neat. this tall, but there's something to identify the food. Yeah. So that people know right away what they're getting when they walk up. And height is important. I different see that. levels. Right. Different levels. So, you know, this is just a little crudite with a hummus underneath so that you can have your crudite so that if you double dip it's okay it's yours it's yours this is a really neat idea because maybe you don't have martini glasses but maybe you have wine glasses at home exactly or you do something anything at all that you can make your own right a caprese salad once again i love that it's contained grilled shrimp which is what we're making in our next segment. And I'll show you different ways to, to doll it up with two sauces. These are watermelon and feta cheese bites with some chopped basil, Great. little meatball sliders. And this, this is just a cucumber I round. I was going to say. Yeah, with some cream cheese and smoked salmon and fresh dill. Great. Everything here, everything here you can create at home. 
You don't have to be a professional. Except for this. I don't think I could do that at home. No. That, that <laughs> you would have to buy. That, <laughs> that you would but have to beautiful. buy. Beautiful. But it's everything, well you it. could rent these simple things, mm -hmm. and they're not that expensive, and you can make a smashing party. It's gorgeous. And I can't wait to get into some of these recipes that we have for today. The shrimp cocktail. Right? The shrimp cocktail. The kebabs. Is, is that the kebab? It's really called a grilled shrimp cocktail. Well, very nice little touches. Yeah. And uh, when we come back, we are going to get into to some of the recipes, so stay with us. Yes. We'll take a quick break and be back to show you how to make the shrimp kebabs to go with our summer cocktail party setting. We're back with Bring You in the Kitchen after this.